Myra is in now with sports and a Uvic Vikes men's basketball team that hasn't been as hot as they are now since I was in second year at the school. I lived in residence. I remember going to a few games because that was the thing to go watch. And you were at the U of S. No, UVic. Oh, you were at UVic. Yeah, oh. I went to UVic. Oh, and, I thought you went to the UVic. Everyone from Res would go to the games every week because they beat everybody. Do you remember the year? You have it right there. 97-98, Andrew. Uh, not since then as the Vikes men's basketball team started the season 9-0, and and all that could change tonight as the men tip off the second half, hosting the University of Saskatchewan. The Craig Bocamp's boys are preparing for this weekend like any other, bracing for a tough battle against the nationally ranked Huskies. I mean, just like, you know, game one, we're just, it's one game at a time, and just hopefully we, we play well, and we practice well again this week, and we just talk about being better, you know, each and every day at practice, and, and each, each game we play being a little bit better, so we're not approaching it any differently. I mean, I know uh, if you look at the standings and the rankings, I mean, it's easy to do that, but it's, for us, it's just another Canada West game in which they're all important. Well, once again, Uvic's offense has been powered by fifth-year captain Ryan McKinnon. The Comox Valley product is in his third in Canada West in scoring, averaging 21.4 points per game. But it's been a total team effort on both sides of the ball that has contributed to the Vikes' first half success. What do you like about what your team has done well in the first half of the season? Um, we've rebounded the ball particularly well. I mean, we're among the leaders in rebounding in the Canada West and win the rebounding most nights. I mean, I always think it's similar to the line of scrimmage in football. You win the rebounding, you know, you kind of win the war of the trenches. So we've done that well. Uh, for the most part, we've shot the ball very well, one of the top shooting teams. And just overall, we've played well together, a very cohesive uh, unit and like each other and play hard for each other. And that's made us successful so far. Well, just in case he wasn't critiquing enough basketball this weekend, we found Coach Bo taking in some afternoon games at St. Michael's University School at the annual Smooth Invitational. In its 25th year, the tourney has attracted teams from the island, mainland, and Alberta. It's the perfect way to shake off the post-Christmas rust and for these teams to test their skills against some different competition. Boys' final goes tomorrow at 5.45, and it wouldn't be a surprise to see a local team in the championship game. Well, as I said, uh, strong field with uh, a variety of teams. Uh, I want to put in a plug for our guys. We've got a, a fairly strong team this year. We're young. We've got a uh, strong crop of grade 11s, but I think we've got as good a shot of any as any. Uh, we have uh, playing Oak Bay tonight. Oak Bay is a provincially ranked team as well, so that could be a strong matchup. And on the other side of the draw, Vancouver College is the number two ranked uh, AAA team in the province, so I think they're probably the favorite on that side. Rocky Vitale's Island Champions. The Lambrick Park Lions are definitely one of the teams to watch out for on the girls' side, led by six foot two Tiger Holt. Yes, that is her name. The Lions dismantled their first two Alberta opponents. She scored 32 points in the first half in Lambrick's opening game against Calgary's Rundle College. And then she watched her teammates go to work against Bonas from the bench. Holt and company will get a tougher test tonight against Oak Bay. You're going to be a marked woman tonight against Oak Bay. Yeah, I definitely am. I'm expecting there's going to be a lot of big girls. This is going to be nice to see and like play against because you don't often get to play against people your own size. We definitely be one of our main focus. There's her and they got another post about her size and they just cause trouble. You know what? Neither one of them are, your, like I said, traditional basketball players, but they are effective basketball players. They know how to play. The offensively, you got to be aware of where they are. And defensively, if they don't block your shot, our players will definitely know they're in there. It'll be in the back of their mind for sure. All right, speaking of tournaments, none is more storied than the totem, and it tipped off this afternoon. The gym at ADSS, Alberni Valley District Secondary, was packed as the Qualicum Ladies took on the Bolinas Whalers. The 57th Annual High School Basketball Bonanza features eight teams from the island and has the distinction of being the longest consecutive running basketball tournament in the province. This is the last year the event will be held in the old high school before moving to the new facility next year. That means alumni and current students are expected to show up in droves tonight to watch ADSS play here one final historic time. They know about it. They, so as soon as they come up to the high school, they know about Totem. So it's like uh, anticipation from grade 9 to grade 10 and knowing that when they get to the grade 11, the senior team, that they're actually going to be part of it. And it's a culture within this town. Uh, in one end, of the, one end over here, we'll have the alumni. The far end will be the dog pound with the current students. And uh, as I said earlier, it's, uh, it gets rocking in here. You, uh, you can't even carry a conversation on. 
Garfield phone. Yes, AJ, remember the Garfield phone? That's for all the cat calls the Victoria Cougars get in the media box. The Cougars hosting the Comox Valley Glacier Kings. Second period, Trevor Chow to Steen Axford. And on the power play, he turns and fires, scores 1-0. Still in the second, Brody Coulter in on the breakaway. But Cam Large comes up with the supersized glove save. Large shuts the door on a streaking Mark Walton. But Chris Bannister jumps on the rebound. 2-0 after two. Early third, Bannister is going to strike again. Hits his man cross crease. Who goes five hole? And the Cougars roll 5-1 the final. They are won their last eight of ten.